What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. If you guys are new here, I would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Let's try to hit over 1,000 likes. And today, what we're going to be doing is pretty interesting. I went into the PS4 file share center and I found a draft class that claims to be the 1983 draft class. Now, I anticipate that many of the top players will be in there. However, I think a lot of the, you know, busts and the misses and the later round draft picks, I really don't expect them to be in there at all. But this is considered by many to be the greatest draft class in NFL history. We have the likes of John Elway, Dan Marino, some huge players, Eric Dickerson. This was a crazy class. The Baltimore Colts held the number one overall pick in that draft. So we have elected to go with now the Indianapolis Colts and they would take John Elway. John Elway did not want to play for the Baltimore Colts. He was eventually traded before ever playing a game, forever suiting up to, of course, the Denver Broncos, and the rest is history. But today, we are going to be importing that draft class in Madden NFL 19, seeing what it's all about, and then maybe tracking some of the careers of these athletes on new teams. I think it's going to be really exciting, really fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this draft class. So as you can see here, there are a number of Pro Bowlers and Hall of Famers in this draft class. Starting off with the Colts who took John Elway. Eric Dickerson is in this draft class. Kurt Warner was a stellar running back on the Seahawks before injury. Chris Hinton was a pretty good player. Don't know too much about Jim Covert. But Bruce Matthews, Hall of Fame tackle, guard, center, played it all. We got Jim Kelly, Hall of Fame quarterback for the Bills. Took him to four straight Super Bowls. Gary Anderson, one of the best running backs for a few years and then kind of got injured and uh that was tough jim jeffcoat here never made the pro bowl but he was a really solid defensive end with the cowboys of course has a son jackson jeffcoat who also went uh to the nfl played at texas hook'em horns ken o'brien was a pro bowler of course they missed dan marino though daryl green one of the best cornerbacks in nfl history vernon maxwell was a solid uh, linebacker for the colts i believe for a little while henry ellard's in here a lot of pro bowlers leonard marshall was decent with the giants keith bostick was actually really solid roger craig great running back great receiving back out of the back for the 49ers ray horton was decent as a safety there are a number of players in this draft class that are really really good charles mann was a beast as well absolute beast for the redskins anybody else in here that's super noticeable greg townsend uh, I'm trying to see some names here. Don't really see anybody super interesting other than that. I mean, a couple of these guys are pro bowlers. Richard Dent, Hall of Famer in round eight, of course. Uh, and Gary Kubiak, coach now in the NFL. Not a head coach anymore, but it was a head coach for the Texans. I believe he's still with the Broncos as a, uh, as a coordinator of sorts. But Richard Dent, Hall of Fame pass rusher for the Bears on that great... 1985 defense mark clayton is in here in one of these late rounds i mean this draft class was just just stacked carl mecklenburg for the broncos was a beast and then, um doesn't seem like there's anything crazy other than that a couple pro bowlers here that went undrafted but let's go ahead and go back into madden and see how many of these players are in this class all right so we are going to import local file and I believe, shout out to the guy who made this. I believe his name is Darkside, something like that. You guys will be able to find it if you're on PS4. Don't know what they have on Xbox. Not sure if there's a, a thing like this. But it looks like this might be, for the most part, he misspelled Charles Mann. We're going to go ahead and edit that. But for the most part, and even I forgot about Todd Blackledge. Looks like these players are in their uh, exact order, pretty much. Except for Charles Mann, I believe, was not picked here as we just looked at that. But uh, he was a fourth round guy taken later. I wonder if maybe two M's is not allowed or he just he just misspelled it. That's all right. Took a lot of work, I assume, to get this draft class going. John Elway is an 86 overall. Kurt Warner should be a way higher overall. The only thing that killed his injury or his career was, in, you know, injury. So you hate to see that. Eric Dickerson should be a higher overall. Absolutely, he should be. But we also have Jim Covert at an 82. Charles Mann is an 81. Todd Blackledge is not great. He really has the bust out here. Bruce Matthews is an 88 overall. Is that the highest overall in this draft class? It's not because we got Dan Marino. We got Daryl Green. He made these guys sacked coming out of the draft. Oh, my God. Let's look at the quarterbacks. 
So, of course, Jim Kelly's an 80. That's good to see. Tony Eason's in here. Ken O'Brien's a 76. Dan Marino at a 90 is very high. Very high, but it is what it is. Halfback, I want Kurt Warner to be better, man. Roger Craig at a 76 is cool. I believe he misspelled Antoine Baker. I could be mistaken there. But, uh, you know, we're not going to critique all the spellings. It takes a lot to go through, you know, each of these players. And I wonder how many he actually did, because obviously there are going to be names in here that I'm unfamiliar with, as this was quite a while ago in 1983. As we move on to wide receivers, Mark Clayton, Willie Galt, Henry Ellard. This is a really, really fun thing. Shout out to the guy who made this. I, this was a ton of work, I imagine. As a uh, man, there are some crazy overalls in here. And it's kind of weird that we're seeing all of them. We're going to go ahead and draft and we're going to follow some of these players at least. Because this is just super cool. Richard Dent should be higher. I mean, if Dan Marino is a 90, Richard Dent should be like an 82 at least. But it is super cool to see these guys in here. I can't stress that enough. And I'm not sure how Charles Mann's a higher overall than Richard Dent. Jim Jeffcoat's a nice high overall. I like to see that. Defensive tackle. Really doesn't look like there was much in terms of defensive tackles in this draft class. Billy Ray Smith is a top linebacker. Daryl Talley is an 80. Carl Mecklenburg should be higher. He was a beast. Right outside linebacker. Doesn't seem like there's anybody crazy in there. But Daryl Green at cornerback 90 speed he's a night or he's a 90 overall he is 98 speed daryl green was an absolute beast i think he wore number 26 for the redskins and uh you had clinton portis at war 26 and now adrian peterson of course past his prime but a lot of great players wearing number 26 for the redskins and then at safety we're looking really at strong safety here um where is he as far as i can tell there is no Keith Bostic, and I'm a little bit point, uh, disappointed that there's no Ray Horton. I, I remember Ray Horton being at least a solid player for a while. And, um, yeah, he played with the Bengals for a while. He was in the NFL for, like, 10 years as a second-round pick. Of course, uh, you know, didn't do too much in the NFL other than five picks his rookie year. He was a decent player. It's a shame he's not in this draft class, but very, very cool. I like what's going on here. Kurt Warner should be a higher overall. The overalls are kind of interesting, kind of not, but we'll see how this draft class unfolds. Here we are at the draft. What do we do? We went 5-11, and 11, so that should be a decent enough pick. Won't be the number one overall pick, most likely, but we are picking in the top 10 at number 6 as the Niners are on the clock at number 1, and the San Francisco 49ers select Chris Hinton, guard out of Northwestern. Seahawks follow it up with John Elway. John Elway going out west, this time to the Seahawks. We'll see if he stays there. Maybe he demands a trade as the Vikings are going to go ahead and select Jim Covert, left tackle out of Pitt. Cardinals back that up with Billy Ray Smith Jr. And then the Bucks right before us take Charles Mann. What do we want as the Colts? I mean, this is the 1983 draft class in 2018. Eric Dickerson might be the move. Probably should have way higher trucking. He should be a power back more than an elusive back, I would think. But great speed on him. So we have Andrew Luck. He's probably our uh, our quarterback of the future. What do we need? We need running back. We could go corner. We could go Daryl Green. I think we're going to go Eric Dickerson, though. And this is funny because Eric Dickerson was actually an Indianapolis Colt. And he's coming back. Superstar development on him. He's ranked number 18 in the class. Who cares? Oh, that's cool to see the neck roll as well. The vintage neck roll. This guy did put a lot of work into this roster. So shout out to him. I'm not sure why Eric Dickerson's trucking is so low. I think that should be a lot higher. But nonetheless, can't complain. Eric Dickerson, once again, is an Indianapolis Colt. Redskins go Bruce Matthews. I wonder if any of these players will actually go to their right teams. Mark Clayton to the Bills. Of course, he was pretty much a lifer. Dolphin Todd Blackledge goes to the Cincinnati Bengals. That is interesting, as, of course, you've seen 60 overalls go because they were busts. Jim Kelly to the Chiefs. It's also funny because some of these teams won't even be around yet. Jeff Christensen to the Broncos. Like the Jaguars, for example, were not around in 1983. Nor were the Panthers who are on the clock now. Nor were the Texans who are on the clock next. Panthers go Terry Connard out of Clemson. Texans followed up with Willie Galt, receiver out of Tennessee. Dolphins existed. Did the Falcons at this point? 
did the Falcons exist? I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, they did. The Atlanta Falcons uh, originally were created in, let's see, 1966. They've actually been around for longer than I thought. But they will go ahead and select Gabriel Rivera, defensive tackle out of Texas Tech. In real life, they went Mike Pitts out of Bama. Cleveland Browns go Kurt Warner, halfback out of Penn State. Sucks again, injury. He should be a higher overall. I've said it like four times now in this video. It's probably a little old. As Joey Browner goes to the Jags, strong safety out of USC. New York Giants select Ken O'Brien. He actually went to the Jets in real life, but he's going to stay in New York this time with the Giants. Daryl Green goes to the Raiders. Philadelphia Eagles take Henry Ellard, receiver out of Fresno State. Dan Marino to the New England Patriots. No. <laughs> the rich get richer. And after Tom Brady in this screwed up world, the Patriots get Dan Marino. Packers back-to-back -back picks. Blaine Moe, guard out of Oklahoma, and they get Daryl Talley. Middle linebacker out of West Virginia. That's interesting. In real life, they got Tim Lewis. As Jim Jeffcoat goes to the Lions. Ravens, who didn't exist, take Donald Gaines. Free safety out of UAB. Titans take Richard Dent. The pretty much lifetime bear. I can't remember him anywhere else. This, of course, was the Oilers at the time. They go Richard Dent, though. Steelers go Tony Eason out of Illinois. Rams now in Los Angeles. And they were in Los Angeles at the time. Go Daryl Rankin. And the Los Angeles Chargers, who are in San Diego, go Joey Fernandez. Cowboys wrap it up with Grant Northcutt. That was the first round. We're going to simulate now to our pick here as Salim Roach goes just before us. What do we want? Who's available? I might go Carl Mecklenburg here. That would be a pretty good pick. We went halfback. Don't really need quarterback. Not a ton of great safeties available. No real cornerbacks I want. I want someone actually from this draft class. So I think Carl Mecklenburg probably is going to be the pick. Unless, you know, somebody else here is just kind of sick on the board that I haven't noticed. I think, yeah, yeah. We're going to go Carl Mecklenburg. Middle linebacker out of Minnesota. Pro bowler, beast. He's got quick development, 74 overall. Welcome to the Indianapolis Colts. We're only going to take a take three picks could go gary anderson he has undrafted talent though so i'm not really liking that too much i don't know let's let's find another guy in this draft class that looks decent or right, there don't really look to be any more players actually in the 1983 draft class we're just going to go with one who actually was and that is unfortunately going to be gary anderson out of arkansas he's a 63 overall <laughs> we knew he was going to be bad but, uh, hey, man, I, I want to keep, you know, the theme of the video going, 1983. So we got Eric Dickerson. We got Carl Mecklenburg. Unfortunately, uh, nobody else was actually from the draft class. No Najee McTire, if I can uh, remember correctly. But, of course, some names to keep your eye on. Dan Marino with the Patriots, who likely won't start his first year. I'm not, at, well, I'm not sure. Oh, we can sort by full NFL. So that's cool. Let's just sort by highest overall. We saw some of these players already. Now we just know where they, they went. So we'll look in the second round as uh, Chase Hollenbeck goes to the Detroit Lions, probably. I wish I could see what team this is. The, the Tennessee Titans. All right. Another second round pick. Jason Ellingson goes to the Eagles. Any other notable round twos? Gil Bird. Goes to the Texans, maybe? Texans? It's hard to like, match up this color with, <laughs> with the team. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leonard Marshall goes to the Vikings, I would say, is purple. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and simulate a year, though. Eric Dickerson will be the starting running back. He fits the scheme pretty well as well. And uh, let's just see how these rookies do. And, of course, they're uh, a little bit older than traditional rookies as they were drafted couple decades ago might even say a few because that would be more accurate 93 03 2013 i mean we're, we're coming up on 40 years simulate to the playoffs which we probably won't make so of course we did not make the playoffs we went three and 13 even with eric dickerson but we will see how these rookies performed 
Hopefully Eric Dickerson went off. I'm not really sure how uh, Indianapolis schemes work in in Madden simulation. It's not very running back friendly, clearly. Eric Dickerson did break 1,000 yards, though. He had four touchdowns. Did Dan Marino play with the Patriots? Did he play? That's what I want to know. Dan Marino was the starting quarterback. What happened to Tom Brady? <laughs> Where'd Tom Brady go? I get, oh, he must have retired at the end of the first season. So Dan Marino would have been the new starting quarterback. He had a pretty good season. 4,200 yards, 31 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Where do the other rookies go? We'll take a look and see how they stack up. As um, Who are we looking for here? Jim Kelly is one that we're going to keep an eye on. These guys might not have even played. Jim Kelly, he didn't really play much. John Elway didn't really play much with the Seahawks. Obviously, they have Russell Wilson. And the Chiefs have Pat Mahomes. Kind of peculiar they'd go quarterback. Same thing with the Seahawks, really. And what about Ken O'Brien with the Giants? I remember the Giants took him. So we can go ahead and take a look at Ken O'Brien. Not a terrible year. 3,600 yards, 18 touchdowns, 15 picks. Not good, obviously. But it could have been way worse. Where'd Kurt Warner go again? Kurt Warner's a running back that would not have played very much, which kind of sucks, but here he is with the Browns. Eight carries, 30 yards, and a TD. Pretty weak. What about wide receivers? We got Mark Clayton to look out for, and that's kind of it. Henry Ellard with the Eagles. Ten touchdowns as a rookie. 64 catches, 882 yards. A really, really solid season for him. Willie Galt. With the Texans, 62 catches, 1,000 yards, and 13 touchdowns. That is a fantastic year for another rookie. Even Roger Craig forgot about him. He was basically receiving back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He had 469 yards on 41 catches, 5 touchdowns. What did Roger Craig do as far as an actual running back goes? Did he do much? He wasn't getting the bulk of the carries, but he was a beast in terms of receiving. That's really cool to see. Who got Mark Clayton? Where is he? That's the only player I'm looking for now. I can't remember. I really, I have honestly no idea. I have no idea where Mark Clayton is. He must have not played at all. I've been looking through the entire stats of everybody, which is taking forever, by the way. I should have just done it differently. Mark Clayton... He just didn't play. There's no way. Finally, Mark Clayton is on the Bills. Did I miss that just every time? I didn't really look in the Bills too well. What did Mark Clayton do? We're finally going to find out. This has been like seconds for you guys, but it's been agony for me. Receiving Mark Clayton. Mark Clayton had two catches for 34 yards. Great to see you utilize your first round pick. What about defense, though? We got a couple players to check out. Carl Mecklenburg had a really good season, actually. What about Daryl Green with the Raiders? What did you do? Daryl Green, only one interception, 74 tackles. Two forced fumbles, no defensive touchdowns. Kind of a weak season for Daryl Green. Overall, as a 90 overall cornerback. Let's look at sacks. Let's see Charles Mann. And let's see Richard Dent somewhere in here near the top. That would be pretty swell. Billy Ray Smith with four sacks out of Arkansas as a left outside linebacker. Carl Mecklenburg had three. I have not seen Richard Dent. And I have not seen Charles Mann. This is really annoying. Griffin Carpenter. Richard Dent isn't even, even in here for all NFL defense. So something tells me he didn't have that great of a season. Charles Mann also not in here. Great to see. Let's go ahead and check out awards, though, before we get out of here. Don't really care about MVP, any of that. Show me the rookies of the year. Offensive rookie of the year goes to Dan Marino, Eric Dickerson at number two, Willie Galt three, Brian Hopkins four. Obviously, some of these players in here will not be actual rookies in the draft class, so that is unfortunate. Defensive rookie of the year goes to Carl Mecklenburg. Patrick Roman isn't a real player, as far as I know. Darrell Green in there at number four. But uh, yeah, no Charles Mann, no Richard Dent. I guess he just didn't really play very much, unless they're, maybe they're in the NFC. As Daryl Talley wins Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Green Bay Packers. Billy Ray Smith in there at number three. Uh, a couple interesting players in here, Jim Jeffcoat. Charles Mann was a Buccaneer 
and he's up to an 86 overall. We just didn't see him. We'll actually check out his stats before we get out of here. And then offensive rookie of the year went to Ken O'Brien. Henry Ellert at number two. Roger Craig, three. Or four, excuse me. A couple of interesting players. I really would like to see Charles Mann. Because he was a pretty high overall. But we will check out Richard Dent first. Who should be a decent overall. We saw 86. which So, I mean, like, what'd you do? Or Charles Mann, maybe. Four sacks. Four sacks for Charles Mann. He's the 86. Where'd Richard Dent go? Who drafted you? It's going to remain a mystery because it doesn't really matter that much. He didn't do too much. But Eric Dickerson, let's just upgrade him before we go. He should have higher trucking. If you made this roster, you're watching this video. Maybe update that. But we're going to go all into elusiveness uh, for or elusive back. Upgrade elusiveness and whatnot. So he's going to go up to an 81 overall, 82 overall, but he's playing with down confidence, and he is looking like a beast. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Huge thanks to, I think his name is Darkside for making the roster. It was in the share. You guys can download it if you'd like. You can do whatever you want with it, but that is going to do it for me. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Attack!